general viewing audience. I know you're supposed to do general viewing audience. <laughs> no. But anyway, we just got back from Ottawa Comic Con 2023. My brain farted for a second there, but... I don't know what... Time is vague and... And space is warpable. <laughs> um, but did I buy something? Yes, indeedy. <laughs> I've been... I've been uh, kind of humming and hawing about this one for a while. It's available on the uh, uh, Pokemon Center website, but for a bit more than what I got it uh, at Comic-Con, it's still, it was still a bit, a little bit pricey for a plushie, but hey, uh, it's probably the best deal I'm ever gonna get for this one, cause Pokemon Center Japan, right? <laughs> But yes, it's the little Galarian kitty maid Pokemon. Yep. You know, I got stuff, so let's start smallest and work oh, our uh, way up. Will she sit? Sit. Be good kitty maid. Sit. Sure, there's no fan fiction of her. There actually, there isn't enough. <laughs> there's surprisingly not, not enough. Maybe I should draw some myself. Links to my art websites in the description. No, she's not going to sit. Okay. Nap time. Yeah. All right. So first off, I got a hard plastic, not a toy of the original Digivice. I mean, technically a toy, but just... <laughs> no, there's no play There's no features. It's just bonk. Yeah, but it's, it's still a toy as much as this is. <laughs> Shit, true. But yeah, it's a original Digivice in some kind of mauve and red. It's either that or like really light pink or purple and... It's kind of lavenderish. It's... Somewhere in the middle between yeah. pink and purple. Maybe not lavender, more... Yeah... Uh, mauve? Yeah, mauve. Yeah. Not quite the one I have on my Twitch channel. It's, a, it's Thanos mauve. Yeah. The Twitch channel will be linked in the description, obviously. Where, yes. Where we have it as an emote, a custom colored one. In TV, you cannot digivolve. Mm. And uh, then, light, Luke Skywalker's lightsaber as a bottle opener. Mm. From the stuff of Legends. And also, key ring. I'll open it. It's just the right size for her to wield. <laughs> but I'm not going to use it as a key ring, because that's going to sit in my pocket, and I don't really like that, so I might remove the key ring... He wants to be a Jedi. Of bottles. I just like that now I have a proper bottle opener because for the longest time I just had like a makeshift bottle opener on my uh, retractable knife. What kind of bottles do you even open? Soda bottles that have... Oh. Soda bottles aren't all twist tops. I just haven't drank soda in so long. <laughs> And this is a knife. A rubber knife. Yes, it's a practice train. It's a training knife. And I'm looking at how to open it besides just ripping it. There you go. There. Yeah, maybe that's you should because like that's kind of what knives are for. <laughs> yep. It's made of that uh, black sort of indestructible, rubbery plastic. Well, nothing is indestructible. But it's but... marketed as that, you know. Like... Yeah. Is marketed as like you would have to actually try really hard to destroy yeah. it. <laughs> so, I needed that for my training. So way too often I've gone to knife class and had to borrow one from a classmate. So, mark that off my list of martial arts stuff I need. So yeah, just for the record, uh, he's training how to play with knives. <laughs> so obviously there's some transformers. So uh, Studio Series Dark of the Moon Laser Beak. Who's just a pink bumblebee who murders a family after getting information from them. Yeah, basically the, the Terminator. <laughs> yeah, it's... that's... I don't know what else to say about that. Terminator. <laughs> Other than I think it's hilarious and I didn't... I, I didn't have a Camaro in my uh, Transformers movie collection at least. Are you the le legal guardian of John Cock? Then we've got 
Also a studio series, but the 1986 movie, the better movie. Braun. Right before he's shot to death by Megatron. I don't know. You shot to death? And I have nothing. Yeah. Legacy, our modest star screen. Arguably one of the best star screen portrayals. The he only being a good guy temporarily. I mean the uh, well, it, but is he Christmas star screen? I don't know what that means. Oh, one of Linkar's reviews. Oh, one of the comics. He learned the oh, uh, the magic of Christmas. Then probably not. <laughs> watch that episode. It's hilarious. I feel like I did, but I've completely forgotten it. Go watch that episode. It's it's hilarious. Christmas Star Scream. Yeah. <laughs> Armada Star Scream, where he, he actually temporarily joined the Autobots because he realized Megatron was too insane and he was going to get everyone killed because he didn't care about Unicron trying to wipe them out, so he tried to fight Unicron, who ended up killing him. <laughs> and there was also a scene where he was made blue and said, Why do I look like Thundercracker? Because his power-up was blue. But yeah. The one indeedy to rule them all. <laughs> Sitting on top of the mountain. That's everything we got at Comic-Con. Besides lots and lots of photos. Well, yeah, and, and video, uh, video, which will already be up by the time this uh, video is up. Go watch it, you will. Like and subscribe, you must. Get me to uh, 1,000 subscribers. Like, I'm so close. <laughs> but yes, uh, I have been ace has a score bunny right now, but as a Pikachu at the convention. If you put up your sleeve. And I am General Grievous. Hello there. General Kenobi. Stab. No, wait. Stab. Ow. Bye. Bye.